Replicated discs are the kind you are familiar with. They may be movies, albums, computer programs, or video games. The replication process begins with glass mastering. First a glass plate is created. Then a laser is used to write data on it by etching pits representing the digital ones and zeros. The result is a master containing a precise copy of the original source data. Since the glass master is too fragile to be used directly in the replication process, it acts as a mold to create durable metal stampers. The metal stampers are then carefully attached to the injection molding machines. Discs are made up of durable plastic called polycarbonate, which is melted and injected into the mold at high pressure. In about one second, the stamper imprints the data into the melted plastic, creating the disc. All of the data for the video, music, or computer files are now complete. Since the polycarbonate molded discs are transparent, a layer of superfine metal must be applied to the disc. The reflective, metallic layer allows the disc to function like a mirror, reflecting the laser back to the detector that decodes the pits as data. The reflective layer must be protected with a thin coat of lacquer, which is then flash cured by ultraviolet light. This layer is added to provide some protection while also forming a surface upon which the label information can be printed. Offset printing is now available for replicated discs, which has a resolution of 175 lines per inch. A much sharper and more defined image can be achieved using offset printing. The final step prior to shipping the finished CD-ROM to the customer is packaging. Packaging can come in many different shapes and sizes. The most common types are jewel cases for CD-ROMs and DVD cases for DVD-ROMs. CDs and DVDs can be easily inserted using automated equipment, allowing for many discs to be fully packaged in a short period of time.